it gives me great pleasure to hand back to Lisa Kingo, the Chief Executive of the UNGC, to close out the 27 Leaders Summit. I'm delighted that you've been such a nice audience for me personally, and I love doing this event each and every year. It's growing, it's getting bigger and better and becoming more and more relevant. So thank you very much, and I hope to see you next year. But before that, outside there very soon. Lisa, over to thank you. you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for making this such a wonderful and inspirational day. I have the pleasure now to try to summarize everything we have done during the day. And I'm not going to do an attempt of that, but I just want to share a couple of observations that the day has left me with, including a lot of inspiration and thinking around how we take this amazing agenda forward. First of all, I think it's very clear that the world is ruled by those who turn up. So thank you for turning up today, and thank you for contributing to all the good stuff we have launched today. The blueprint, the reporting tools, the global opportunity explorer that you heard about, and not least, the progress report that we issued today that helps us take stock on where we are on the SDGs and what business contribution um, has been. I think we have had an amazing lineup of individuals that have taken extraordinary leadership. One after the other, they have made their comments from stage in a extraordinary, inspirational way for all of us. You have seen many speakers today, and we ended the session by celebrating the pioneers that are examples of role models and amazing leaders that are putting uh, the sustainable development goals into action. But as you can imagine, putting on this event, developing, all our new resources has been quite a big job. So I want you to help me in thanking the entire UN Global Compact team and all the representatives from our local networks across the world, because they are the UN Global Compact. And together with you, they have made all this possible. So would you please stand up and receive an applause from the audience? Let's see all of you. Woo. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Amazing. So the other observation I want to share with you is based on many years hard work in business, some disappointments, and some real trials. I think that timing is everything. You can have so many good ideas. If the timing isn't right, it's not going to work. My sense is that the timing is right, right now. So many people have mentioned on stage today that we are creating a movement. It's the vision of the UN Global Compact to mobilize a movement of responsible companies and organizations that can create the world that we all want, the world described in the 17 goals. Our attribution to the former Secretary General Ben Ki-moon is to make sure that we make his vision a reality. So why don't we do that now? There are sufficiently many people who are talking about creating a movement. And at some stage, all this will gel 
and we can actually create a movement. Why don't we start with finding ways to make every single employee in all of your companies SDG ambassadors so that we can spread rings in the water and everybody can find their own way of utilizing their platform in promoting and living the SDGs. Let's not forget that we have at maximum 5,000 days left until 2030. Maybe in some areas, as we spoke about this morning, even less. Maybe it's only 1,000. So we are busy. We have urgency. This has to happen now. So with the help of all of you, I'm suggesting that we find ways to mobilize, to get together, to pool all our ideas and actions on how to create a movement and make it so big that we really create a snowball effect that just keeps rolling and gets bigger and bigger. I think the time is now. So today there was one quote in particular, or how should I say, one statement that made me think. This morning, I think it was Paul who said, unfortunately this world put more emphasis on the next quarter than on the next generation. So, what is the silver bullet to make the SDGs become a reality? I think that silver bullet relates very closely to that statement. So, how do we make the financial sector and the entire financial system adopt the thinking behind the SDGs? Those of you <laughs> that were here already Monday and have had a pretty long week by now, and perhaps you attended the Secretary General's private sector forum, where the theme was exactly innovative finan innovating financing for the SDGs. It was actually quite an amazing event where many of the UN Global Compact companies were there to present. There were many state leaders in the room, many civil society leaders, and the notion that this needs to happen now was very clear in the room. And the Secretary General made a commitment that in one year from now, he is going to organize and host an event on how to make this happen. So I think we should utilize that year. And it was amazing to hear two of our, of our new companies, PIMCO and MasterCard, talk about, in terms of, of PIMCO, how they are experiencing that clients are beginning to ask for financial products that are building on the SDGs, and how MasterCard has built a base of the pyramid set of products to make sure that they also support people in that segment of the world. So things are coming around. People are rallying around innovating finance around the SDGs. So my suggestion is that we utilize the action platform that Com Global Compact has created on this theme. It had a very successful meeting yesterday. Um, the Italian company Enel has decided to become the patron for this platform. So it's actually a very nice mix of companies from the financial sector, of companies that are interested in driving the whole theme of, innovat of innovating finance for the SDGs. We have a broad set of UN agencies around the table as well. Of course, with PRI, our sister initiative, 
So I think we have an amazing momentum where we could actually deliver something in a year that could be an attempt to tailor and create that silver bullet. So um, let me just leave you with the quote from Astro, from Astro Teller that we also pulled up this morning. The red line for the day has been change and innovation in a big way. And we have had great examples from companies on how this can actually be done in companies that are running their daily business. So that this is truly amazing. So let me just leave you with the notion that the future is probably business as unusual. And it's amazing to see how many companies are picking up this and driving their businesses according to the 10 principles with a vision and a direction towards the SDGs. I think it's incredibly positive and we should all feel encouraged that this is happening and we have a very strong wave to continue and to drive the entire agenda. And I look very much forward to seeing everybody, at least in one year, taking stock of how far we have come by then celebrating the three-year anniversary of the SDGs. Thank you for a great day.